precision farming is now getting to a point where it's getting easier to use, more people can be engaged with it. You've got to go into it wholeheartedly and you've got to put a lot of effort and management time into it to get it up and running to then get the payback. Do you have own data? Do you use um, yield maps? Do you use uh, soil maps? Do you use satellite information? What do you use and what is the right information that fits best to your actual system? There's one particular machine I have. I know the output needs to be 25 hectares an hour. We had a student on it. He was going a little bit slow. I did the calculation. Him going a few miles an hour slower cost me 800 pounds over the day. That was something that I couldn't put a financial number on it previously or even demonstrate it. If the farmer isn't educated enough about the technology, then the technology becomes useless. Without our land, we wouldn't make a living. And um, so the first goal has to be that our land is in a perfect shape. Gone are the days where you ploughed up a field, chucked a load of seed in it, chucked a load of inorganic nitrogen on it, sprayed it to, to hell and then harvested it. That's not what British farming is about. You know, that's not the future. It's about working with nature and technology will naturally help that evolution.